Hi, this is T.H. Culhane from Corpus Robotics at Motion Picture Marine. Behind the camera is Easy Money Harper from Washington Prep High School. And we're testing our motors right now. See how they drive the boat. Both are facing forward. We're running off of a 9.6 volt nickel cadmium battery because we didn't want to use a lithium battery in the water. And we're going to test this, uh, test this out. There it is right there. There's our on-off switch. And let's see how, uh, how it performs. We have a milk jug in the front. Now that was uh, Roy Harper's suggestion. And come on out here and we'll see how we can make it float. All right, it's in the water and it's on. And we have forward motion. So that's not bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's turning. I think one of the motors is stronger than the other. Or it's part of the way the current is going, too. That's good. We can try the 12 volt or the 11.1 volt battery. But at least we know that it's, uh, it's moving. And these are the weaker motors. These are motors that are about 0.75 amps. It's not bad though. It's not going to win any racing competitions. <laughs> it, it'll get smoked. I think you're right. I think that motor is stronger. But we can take care of some of that by turning on and off the motors. And we can definitely steer it. The nice thing is, is, of course, we can swap the motors out and put in more powerful motors if we want to. It does want to turn, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's going relatively straight now. it rounds out. And I think also, it's, it's, it's grounding, it's touching the bottom. But I think also that the 9.6 volt battery is not a very strong one. Yeah, it's, it's dragging in the sand. So yeah. That's part of what's going on. I bring it out into the deeper water. Get a close up of the. Uh... That one's way stronger. Yeah. 